Hey, welcome Gemini Robin here. Welcome to my channel Aries Fire Tarot. I'm so happy that you guys joined me today. Um, I'm doing a new year look ahead into 2021 for you. So just as I started getting ready for your reading, like I, I felt like a physical reaction in my body. So I feel like there's some really big news in this reading for you so i hope you enjoy it and i hope you resonate um yeah like wow okay so i'm just gonna ride this wave that i'm feeling is obviously the guides like gathering around to bring in some really amazing messages for 2021 um so i'm gonna tell you a little bit about this reading and then we'll get going right into it so i have a five card tarot spread um so my plan is to use the gilded tarot as foundation cards and then if I need any clarification I'll use the witch's tarot so I'll just give that a quick little courtesy shuffle right now and then I'm going to look at five aspects of your life health relationships creativity opportunities and finance so I have the angels tarot and then I'm also going to use the romance angel oracle cards at some point, I'll pull one, at least one for you during the reading. So I'm pretty interested to see what is going to happen in these cards for you and messages from spirit because I don't usually get a reaction like that. Like my heart started pounding a little bit faster and, you know, I, I could feel myself like shaking a little bit. So somebody's excited in the spirit guide bleachers. So let's get going here, Gemini. Um... <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Gemini, Cross Watchers. I need to tell you guys that. Really important. Uh, so, theme of the new year. That's the first card in this spread. So, you've pulled this. I've pulled the Moon card for you. You could have some really heightened sensitivities some incredibly intuitive moments i'm gonna show you guys this card a little bit more so when you see like a crustacean here like there seems to be is that a cat's is that a crab or a lobster i think it's a lobster so it means that there's some sort of um gift coming to the surface for you whether it is going to be you know, the ability to precognize things or, you know, being able to connect to people telepathically or really get in contact with your spirit guides a little bit better. You'll start to notice that your synchronicities are coming faster and faster and faster. So this is going to be really important in manifesting everything that it is that you want for your life because the moon is singing a song to you and you'll start to be able to tune into it a little bit better so the theme of the new year is really finding your groove with the universe very very cool just wanted to write that down so we're gonna look at what to work on for the new year for you gemini uh, just do a little bit of a shuffle here wow okay so you have the ace of cups so <clears throat> Following the theme of the new, the new year and being open more spiritually and probably a little bit spooky for some of you guys if you're not really used to being able to communicate, especially with people that have passed to the other side of the veil, uh, you might feel the presence of your angels very strongly. Um, your ancestors could come, I've got this hair here, hold on, um, could come really close to the veil and be able to speak to you so your dreams could get a little bit you know, weird, let's say. Um, so you have the Ace of Cups, which is a really strong emotional connection. And this is coming from the universe. So I want you guys to notice the lunar cycle in the background also, um, because you got the first card was the moon card. And then you have the third eye here. So something very extremely... Um, like attaining a different reality. Like when I talk about 4 and 5D, I usually talk about that on my other channel, Oracle Rising. Like really um, on your ascension path and starting to shake loose of things like, you know, worry, stressed out about money, and just starting to really 
ride the waves that the universe is offering you and seeing all these opportunities and, and seeing them before they even come in. So you know how to prepare yourself. Very, very cool cards here. This camera angle is driving me nuts. Hold on for a second. So let's see any... So anyway, what to work on for the new year. I sort of glossed over that because I was so impressed. Just really work on your emotional connection that you feel to the universe and opening your third eye. If you're not sure how to do that, I do videos on my channel, Oracle Rising, um, what the best foods are, what to avoid. Um, you know, there's also meditations and, you know, there's always something you can find on YouTube um, that'll help you open your third eye and keep it open. And what that means, if you're not really 100% sure, but you guys are really going to hit some new height of, um, I want to say, like, super abundance because you're going to see things coming. It's almost like, and I always forget the name of that movie before I want to say it, um, Limitless. Like, how cool would that be? So you can attain that really just by getting in tune with the universe. So let's see any mental preparations. You guys really just have to prepare for your most wild, abundant dreams to come true. We do have the Nine of Pentacles here. So... If you have this limitless ability, if you haven't seen the movie with Bradley Cooper, um, Smoking Hot, by the way, um, it's time to see that. So you can understand what I'm talking about a little bit more. Um, where there's no, there's no red flags in your brain anymore. There's nothing stopping you from seeing the ultimate solution and accepting them because they are. You know, things are just the way that they are. So, so far you guys are... You're doing quite well in 2021. So prepare yourself mentally for a bigger abundance than you've ever had before. So I'm going to give you guys an example of how to prepare for, um, you know, abundance. So what does your perfect abundance look like? And I'm the example that I think about is people that do not have a wealth mindset or they don't have an optimal health mindset. But I'm going to give you... An example where people that have a poverty mindset win the lottery and then they just lose their money right away is because they they don't know how to keep it because their mind is not prepared for it so find ways to really just be able to accept your most abundant life and start like really anchoring those visions into your head you know you might want to start listening to books like um, The Game of Life and How to Play It, you know, so that you understand that you deserve the wildest, most abundant and opulent life just because you're here. You know, you don't have to be on a certain level, you know, um, all these constructs that separate people. Um, if you want to think about different classes, you know, which I find sickening, those are all human constructs. Those did not come from anyone else. You know, the universe didn't impose those. Um, our human friends did. So let's have a look at spiritual preparations for you guys. Okay, you know, the universe just wants to talk abundance to you. You know, again, you've got the 10 of pentacles and everything is just coming up roses basically so far in 2021. Um, this is the jackpot card, the Ten of Pentacles, everything overflowing. So there probably is a spiritual connection that you guys could really enhance. And I find that there's um, some affirmations that are more spiritually based than others. There's the narrator of the book, um, the one that I just told you about, the game of life and how to play it. And she does all these affirmations too. And like once you see something on YouTube, you'll get more things that are similar to that in your feed. I can't remember her name right now. I'm very bad with names and I don't want to pause the recording because I'll lose it. Um, but she does affirmations also. And they're more spiritually minded. And for those of you that are like not a God person, but you're more of a universe person or a source person, it might really um, help you understand that all of these, like, monikers, they refer to the same thing. So you might want to just start blurring the lines a little bit. 
um, because it is that disbelief in one thing that puts up doors, you know, puts up walls between you and your massive abundance. So seeing your abundance come in from, you know, there's nothing wrong with saying God if you don't believe in God because God is the universe. Do you know what I mean? Um, so start working on that a little bit more. Uh, this these affirmations that I listen to, like she refers to, to God quite a bit. And, um, I'm not a religious person, but I'm a spiritual person. So, you know, I felt a little bit of resistance to that at first, but then I just, I had to think about it and meditated about it to see how I could integrate that. And these affirmations, they're chilling, you know, they really are. They're like in a good way, like woof, a recognition of, um, the reality of what is possible for you. So let's see how to make the most of the new year. Man, you guys, you guys are like so on fire in 2021. You have the queen of pentacles here. This is the queen of coins. This is the, the can do attitude of the universe. This is the, the energy. This is a divine feminine energy, um, that comes in and just wants to soldier on despite any hindrances that could have come in the past here. And while you guys are looking at the cards when I hold them up, I think it's important for you to sort of look at the details and anything that might strike you in the background, like this peacock in the background. If you feel like a connection to that, you probably want to look up what that spirit animal means to you. Like anything that jumps out and calls out to you in the card, um, definitely keep that you know, a mental note or actually make a physical note. Um, you know, so that you can check it out later because there's probably things that you're seeing for yourself that I'm not seeing for you. So, and that's totally fine. So make the most of the new year. Just don't stop, you know, and you're probably going to be fueled by the power of the universe. So you probably won't even feel like stopping, you know, especially once you start to understand the power of the synchronicities that are happening around you um, as you expand your third eye and expand your possibilities, it'll just be easy for you. Like it won't seem like a chore anymore. You know, it won't seem like oh, I gotta get up again, you know, and I gotta do this and this, and it's all so boring. Um, this queen of pentacles is coming in and saying, you know, this is gonna be so cool, and this is what I'm gonna manifest today, and I'm just going to like listen to my affirmations and be super happy, and then everything's gonna come flooding in like there's no tomorrow, so. Um, yeah, wow. So I'm going to use the witch's tarot here to look at health, relationship, creativity, opportunities, and finance with the help of the, both of the angel cards that I have to the side here. Okay, I'm going to pull a card for health. So you have the star card. All right, so this is, this is a very important card for you guys to really understand that your optimism about any health issues that you may have had in the past or might be experiencing currently, this is basically to give all of your worry to the universe. This is the star card and she is flowing with the, the form of the universe, the water coming in. Um, this is very important for those of you, um, again, who have suffered any type of illness, you know, it is possible when you have this sort of miracle mind mindset to heal yourself and also to call in illness. It might be time for you guys to really consider what universal healing is. You could probably do with a good aura cleansing as well. Um, I'm just getting that sort of flow feeling from the water that is, that's going between the character and the card and I don't know, whatever body, body of water that is. It feels very, like there could be a clog there in your aura. You don't have to believe me to check it out. You know, um, people do energy healing. You might want to try something like Qigong to release stagnant energy in your body and your organs. There's something very important that can be achieved just by doing different kinds of like a Tai Chi or a Qigong or that energy healing or, you know, and you can hire somebody to do that for you, especially the aura cleansing. Um, 
or you could try the online stuff you know there's baths you can take you know um you can surround yourself with certain crystals you know you can do stuff like that um depending on what you believe you know if you think it's a bit of a farce then it's not going to work for you you know you really have to believe in what it is that you're charging yourself with but your health is it should be really um blooming in 2021 especially if you maintain the the mindset of yourself as a, a healthy and strong warrior okay so keep that in mind gemini so i'm gonna pull a romance angel card here um for relationship and this is really cool i love this card it's not just you know all poetry this deck it's it's quite um thoughtful and insightful so this card says playfulness okay um to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine super important you know you see some couples and i don't know i mean they're probably content otherwise never mind i'm not going to go down that road i'm not going to judge people but you know for me in a relationship i need to be with somebody that I can laugh with and if you guys started out that way um and it just sort of went away i mean you obviously need to start paying a, a little bit more attention to your relationship um is the message that i'm getting here for you and your playfulness could go for all relationships that you have i mean unless it's like a a work relationship and your boss has zero sense of humor it's probably not a great idea but playfulness and it's so key in keeping yourself healthy and keeping yourself in tune with the universe and the universal flow of abundance so this playfulness card can go all the way around for every single relationship that you have especially yourself like when's the last time that you really enjoyed your own company or laughed at your own joke or you know just kind of hung out with yourself because you're such a quality person you know what i mean um so I'm going to pull a card here for creativity, Gemini. Oh, this is a good sign. Okay, so you have the Eight of Fire. So the Eight of Fire talks about having a really bubbly, upbeat, um, just ready to be inspired by the universe. Um, usually people are apt to see things that are less visible with the Eight of Fire, which is the Eight of Wands. You know, it's really hard to see new ideas and new ways to do things, which is probably the same thing, when you're sulking. So, and things can happen very quickly. You know, you guys, you could experience a like a whirlwind turnaround of fortune um, where everything just suddenly changes. You know, you could get a clear x-ray depending on what kind of illness that you have. You know, you could heal a bone faster than you thought was possible and your physician would think so too um you know your your bank balance could go from zero to like six zeros comma one very very quickly um your opportunities i have the three of air here so um this says the need to forgive yourself or others so this is really important this can be something that you're carrying around with you and it can get in the way of opportunities um <clears throat> people are going to make mistakes including yourself so if there's something if you as soon as i said that if you think of somebody's name you know oh i really should talk to that person or Oh, I can't believe that I did that stupid thing in the past. It's time to really exercise forgiveness. Um, there's something called the Ho'oponopono um, poem. And you guys might, might want to look that up, especially if it comes to forgiving yourself. If there's something that you did in your past that you're not allowing yourself to heal from, that you're really like sort of self-flagellating. Um, it's time to release that because it is going to block opportunities. The, the three of air, the three of swords. It speaks of an energy that the wound came from somebody either from yourself or very close to you. So, you know, the more personally you're involved with somebody, the harder it is to forgive them in some cases. So this is going to stand in the way of your opportunities. So with everything else that is going on here, you really want to take care to resolve this ASAP. 
so that your opportunities will open into the floodgate that I see everything else being available to you um, in the new year. So, okay, the last card I'm going to pull for you, Gemini, is for finance. So let's have a card for that. This says the moon. So I absolutely love how this reading played out for you. So the first card I pulled for you from the Gilded Tarot um, is the moon card. Okay. And then the last card I pulled for you is the moon card. And this is represented also by an archangel. This has got Archangel Hamiel on the card. And this says important psychic insights. Events. Oh, geez. I can't read this. Sorry, guys. Like, it's just a teeny tiny font. Events behind the scenes and release fears that hold you back. So, again, there could be something holding you back with this three of air swords. You could be three of air swords, three of air card. You know, there is a certain amount of um, forgiveness implied just because you've gotten the three of air. And then this particular moon card says something about it, too. So you don't want this little event that you either participated in or you were the victim of or you perpetrated. You don't want to let that stand in your way. I mean, there has to be some sort of, you know, there has to be an end period to feeling bad about something, um, you know, and everybody deserves clemency. So, and you deserve it most of all, and you can be your own worst critic, especially since you're a Gemini, right? So there's a lot of voices going on there. Um, so it's time to resolve that, but because you have everything else working so, so beautifully here for you, it should not be an issue at all, at all, at all, at all. And if you're, again, if you're having... You know, and that could be representative of that stagnant energy that I was talking about. And you might need to have an aura cleansing or do that qigong. That could really help. You know, you can do meditations to release, you know, anger, upset feelings. Again, qigong is amazing. I just stumbled across it and I started doing it. And there is, you know, they talk about how anger and other low-lying energies can get trapped into your organs so you know it's something to look at especially if you think on an intellectual level well I've forgiven that person you know it's it's nothing but and the energy from toxic people you know living with somebody that you might not get along with necessarily that can really seep into you as well unless you've got a really really powerful aura so for you guys for 2021 I would really work on um, strengthening your aura, your bubble, um, con connecting to your higher self a little bit better, um, cleansing out your auric field, and probably working on a little bit more of a holistic level. Um, but expect like a clean slate and a full bank account in 2021. Very interesting reading for you, Gemini. So all the best. <laughs> Happy New Year. Bye for now. Bye.